we want to find the sum of the infinite series where we have the summation from n equals zero to infinity of x raised to the power of three n minus one divided by n factorial. If, com if we compare this formula used to generate the terms to the formulas used to generate the terms of several elementary functions using power series, notice how our series resembles the power series here for the function e to the x. Notice both of the formulas have an n factorial in the denominator. So going back to our example, if our numerator was x to the power of three n, it would more closely resemble the formula used for e to the x where we have x raised to the power of n. So notice here, if we multiply the numerator and denominator by a factor of x, if we want x to the first, this would give us the summation from n equals zero to infinity of, we'd have x raised to the power of three n minus one plus one, which would be x to the power of three n divided by, and here we'd have x times n factorial. Well from here, we could factor out one over x, and that would give us one over x times the summation from n equals zero to infinity of, now for x raised to the power of three n, It'd be better if we had an exponent of n, so let's write x to the power of three n as x to the third to the power of n divided by, now the denominator is n factorial. So notice now our power series is exactly like the power series for e to the x, except instead of x, we have x to the third, which means this sum would be equal to one divided by x times, not e to the x, but e raised to the power of x cubed. And so multiplying, we finally have e raised to the power of x cubed divided by x, which would be the sum of the given power series. I hope you found this helpful.